my king. You have always fought for progress in our country. Thanks to you, the kingdom returned to its former strength. The citizens lived again in freedom, prosperity, and peace. No generation before ever had a better life than we did. But envy and resentment lived on in some minds. Resistance arose among your alchemists, who found less and less use for their bombs and poisonous mixtures because of the peace. It was precisely those who, in one of your weak hours, took your life. So you were buried next to your ancestors. And the common people mourned their beloved king who now, involuntarily, had to make way for a new ruler. I am afraid of what may come. But I know what I have to do. The time of my revenge has come now. My name is Sophia, and this is my story. One of my earliest memories is of the evening of my seventh birthday. I had been given a book as a gift. It was about the history of the Fungus, an extremely peace-loving tribe from the forests of our country. I was looking at the artfully drawn pictures of them, when my mother surprised me with another gift. I could not believe my eyes. It was game pieces and magical defense towers. I asked mother to play a game with me right away. We set up the game board and read the rules together. When we finished setting up the game board, Mother told me to use my stash of gold to build. She showed me that by tapping on it, I touched the tower and immediately saw how I could use it in the future to harness its full strength. My tower began to fire at the approaching enemies. When defeated, every single one of them left a bounty for me. After a while, I had collected enough gold to build one of the mighty cannon towers. I could hardly wait for another wave of enemies to march by. The cannon tower showed its strength immediately. I had no problems eliminating the new enemies. I collected an enormous amount of gold and could use it to strengthen my cannon tower. I immediately tapped it to upgrade it. I soon noticed that upgrading towers would allow me to deal with a group of stronger opponents. Some enemies dropped skulls on the battleground. Mother encouraged me to collect them quickly. Suddenly, in the middle of our game, I heard clamoring and screaming from the street. In a loud voice, Mother ordered me to get away from the windows. Panicking, she stuffed some clothes, some food, and my gifts into her bag. She took me by the hand, and we fled out the back door. Screams, 
the scent of charred flesh permeated the town. We ran through the alleyways. Screams kept coming from the houses as we flew past. I stopped as I saw my school consumed by flames, but Mother screamed and urged me to keep running. For a brief moment, I saw a shingle fall and hit my mother in the head before she collapsed on top of me. When Mother regained consciousness after what seemed like an eternity, she looked at me, lifted me by my arms, and scooped me up. Due to my exhaustion, she carried me the rest of the way to a side gate of the city. We came upon the bodies of several watchmen and some dead fungus, the creatures I had just seen in my new book. The normally peaceful fungus appeared larger and strangely deformed. Overtaken by fear, I asked Mother how they had come here all the way from the forest. She quickly covered my eyes and hurried me through the city gate. Beyond the gate, we hid behind a tent belonging to farmers who normally tended to their duties here. To soothe me, she pulled out my new game board from her bag again and began to tell me about the game pieces. Mother showed me that each tower has a preferred way of attacking enemies. Some towers prefer groups of enemies, while others prefer close targets or those with the most health points. She placed two towers on the board and told me that each new tower was already configured to take out our opponents most effectively. The arrow tower in particular seemed to focus on targets that had run the farthest. I immediately tapped on the arrow tower to s Upon closer inspection, I selected the weak targets focus, which focuses on enemies with low health, and waited anxiously to see how the turret would behave. I could see that the turret was trying to eliminate weak targets first. Mother showed me that the cannon turret also had special settings. I tapped on it to see its details. Since this turret dealt area damage, I was already specialized to focus on large groups of enemies. When a new group of enemies entered the maze, I tried the settings on both of my turrets to familiarize myself with them. When I had defeated all the enemies, my mother told me about a secret trick that would allow me to attack enemies even faster. I was supposed to choose a tower and then tap an enemy with my right hand to attack them as soon as they came within the range of the tower. I learned that I could attack important enemies very quickly this way.
mother gave me some game gold to help me defeat the next waves. We gathered our provisions in my game. Mother explained that we would seek shelter in the nearby forest for the night. It was only then, at that moment, that I noticed Mother had not only been hit by the roof shingle, but also by something else, as she was bleeding profusely. She tried to reassure me by telling me not to worry. One day you will recognize the strength within you, she said. You have more allies in this world than you realize. Once in the shelter of the forest, we collected wood to light a warming fire. It became increasingly difficult for Mother to stay awake, and she hastened to ignite the fire, by which we soon warmed ourselves. She opened the game manual, held me tightly in her arms, and taught me how to enhance my towers. Mother showed me that there was a way to strengthen my towers with talents. She asked me to choose one of the square key talents and invest the skulls to learn it. <laughs> 